Have you ever felt dizzy, lightheaded, or even like you might faint when you suddenly stood up after sitting or lying down? If so, you may have experienced something called orthostatic hypotension, also known as postural hypotension. It's a type of low blood pressure that happens when your body doesn't adjust quickly enough as you move into an upright position. In this video, we'll walk you through what orthostatic hypotension is, why it happens, what causes it, how doctors diagnose it, who's at risk, and the symptoms to watch out for. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is orthostatic hypotension? Simply put, it's a sudden drop in blood pressure when you stand up after sitting or lying down. And that's why you might feel dizzy, lightheaded, or even faint. To understand this better, let's first look at what blood pressure actually is. Blood pressure is the force of your blood pushing against the walls of your arteries as your heart pumps. It's measured in millimeters of mercury, or MMHG, and it always comes with two numbers. Systolic, the top number. That's the pressure when your heart beats and pumps blood out. Diastolic, the bottom number. That's the pressure when your heart relaxes between beats. A healthy blood pressure is usually below 120 over 80. If it goes below 90 over 60, that's considered low. But here's the thing with orthostatic hypotension. It's not just about having low blood pressure all the time. Doctors actually define it by how much your blood pressure changes when you stand up. So, if your systolic drops by more than 20 points, or your diastolic drops by more than 10 points within three minutes of standing, that's what's considered orthostatic hypotension. So we know what orthostatic hypotension is. But who does it really affect? The short answer is, anyone can. But it's much more common as people get older. That's because over time, your blood vessels and nervous system don't adjust as quickly when you go from sitting to standing. There are also several things that can raise your risk. For example, conditions like anemia or a lack of vitamin B12 can make it harder for your blood to deliver what your body needs, which can lead to a drop in blood pressure when you stand. Dehydration is another big factor. If you lose fluids through vomiting, diarrhea, or even from taking water pills, your blood pressure can drop suddenly. Certain health conditions can also raise your risk. Things like diabetes, thyroid disease, or Addison's disease can interfere with your hormones and affect how your body controls blood pressure. And of course, heart problems can be a factor too. For example, if you have an irregular heartbeat or valve disease, your heart may struggle to pump blood as efficiently, and that can make it harder to keep your blood pressure steady when you stand up. And then we have medications. Some drugs, like those for high blood pressure, heart problems, or even depression, can sometimes lower your blood pressure too much. Neurological conditions, like Parkinson's or dementia, can also affect the nerves that normally tell your blood vessels to tighten when you stand. When that signal doesn't come through properly, your blood pressure can drop. And that's why someone with Parkinson's might feel dizzy or lightheaded when they get up too fast. Pregnancy can also trigger drops in blood pressure, especially in the first and second trimesters, when your body is adjusting to many changes. And being on bed rest for a long time, whether from illness or recovery, can also make you more likely to experience orthostatic hypotension. Next, let's talk about the symptoms of orthostatic hypotension. It tends to happen more often in the morning, since blood pressure is naturally at its lowest right after you wake up. Some people don't notice any symptoms at all, while others find that heat, whether from hot weather, a fever, or even a hot shower or hot tub, can make things worse. The most common symptom is feeling dizzy or lightheaded when you stand. Most of the time, it gets better once you sit or lie down. But in some cases, people can even faint. Other symptoms might include blurred vision, fatigue, headaches, heart palpitations, nausea, sweating, shortness of breath, or even some discomfort in the chest, shoulders, or neck. So what actually causes orthostatic hypotension? When you're sitting or lying down, blood flows back to your heart pretty easily from your legs. But when you stand up, it has a harder time getting there. 
That means there's less blood for your heart to pump out to your organs and muscles. So your blood pressure drops, at least for a short while. There are a few reasons this can happen. Sometimes it's because your heart isn't pumping as strongly as it should. Other times it's because your autonomic nervous system, the part of your body that normally keeps your blood pressure steady, isn't working properly. Certain neurological conditions, like Parkinson's disease, Lewy body dementia, or multiple system atrophy, can cause this. Other causes include lying down for a long time, like during pregnancy or bed rest, having low blood volume from losing fluids or blood, problems with your adrenal glands, or even side effects from some medications. So how do doctors diagnose orthostatic hypotension? First, your healthcare provider will usually check your blood pressure while you're sitting, lying down, and standing. They'll also do a physical exam and ask about your medical history. On top of that, they might run some tests. This can include blood tests to check for things like diabetes or anemia, an echocardiogram to see how well your heart's pumping, and an EKG to check for changes in your heart rhythm. In some cases, you might also get an exercise stress test, wear a portable heart monitor called a Holter for a day or two, or even do what's called a tilt table test. That's where you lie flat on a table that slowly tilts upright while your blood pressure and heart rate are monitored. So how common is orthostatic hypotension? Studies show it affects about one in five older adults, especially those living in long-term care facilities. It's also pretty common in people who've been on extended bed rest or in women who've just had a baby. And here's something surprising. Even teenagers can get it during growth spurts because their bodies are changing so fast. Orthostatic hypotension can really show up in all kinds of people and situations. The important thing is to pay attention to your body. Sometimes you might just feel a quick dizzy spell, but other times it could be a sign of something more serious. Keep an eye on your symptoms and talk to your doctor if anything feels off. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to Blood Pressure Healthcare for more tips on managing and maintaining healthy blood pressure. Stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video.